Good morning, all. How are we this morning? Good morning, Russell. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Russell. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For a good night's sleep. For protection and safety. And for blessing us, Lord, with your presence. With a new day. And we offer this first part of our new day in dedication to you, Father, in our prayer, in our communication, in our relationship with you. As we begin our day in your name, God our Father, merciful and kind, the creator of all. We've known you as our Father, we've known you as our friend. We cannot thank you enough, Father, for everything that you have given us today. Thank you for the greatest gift of all, the gift of Jesus, your only Son, whom you did not spare, so that we might not be lost but might have that opportunity of a lifeline being thrown to us. Through him was that lifeline given. And here we have an opportunity to come back to you, to be saved despite being filthy rags filled with sin, blood stained. Jesus. Yes. Yet he said, he covered it all with his blood and redeem us. That we might have this bridge in Jesus to come back to the Father. And we pray in the name of the Holy Spirit. Your Spirit, Father. Everything that is in you is in Him. It is the essence of your presence in our life that He brings. Who comes to reside in us. Where He says, our bodies are the temples of His Spirit. When he resides, our God comes to reside in this temple, to live with us, so that everything that he teaches us through his word, every revelation of your presence, Father, knowledge of you, that he shows us, might become flesh and dwell within us in our lives, that we adapt it and put it to use in our daily living, in accordance with your instruction, the operating manual, That we might be spared, that we might be saved, that we might have life and have it to the full. As your word in John 10, 10 says. And Father, this morning we pray for all those since the start of this year, for all those that have lost their lives. Some who have been very close to us within our family, our relatives, our friends. For all those that have suffered from the virus, the pandemic, in our no more. For those that died of other reasons. We pray in a special way for Raj and Laura who have lost their mother. Father, we also pray for all the souls that are lost, that do not know you, that are heading down the broad path to hell and discounting the narrow path through Jesus. Jesus is often referred to many parables. where he referenced hell to the outer darkness where there is grinding and gnashing of teeth. Father, we ask for mercy for all of these souls. We ask for you to pour out your spirit like your word in Ezekiel 36 verses 25 to 27 says, where you would pour out your spirit as clean water 
and each one shall be clean from their uncleanliness from all idols you would give them a new heart and a new spirit will you put in them through that birth in the spirit you would remove their hearts of stone and give them a heart of flesh and you would cause each one to walk in the path of your statutes your laws and to be careful to obey your rules being led and guided by the holy spirit we pray for each of those lost sheep lord whom you came to call that today in accordance with your word in luke 19 verses 9 and 10 salvation might come to their house for each of those that you came in search for leaving your 99 good ones behind and you continue to search for them even this day father for they are also sons of abraham you came to seek and save these lost we raise them up to your altar father those that are living those that have lost their lives and are suffering purgatory mm. we ask for your mercy father for forgiveness of sin we stand in the gap and on their behalf father we pray for that forgiveness so that your mercy and your grace might be poured out on each of these they might not be lost that they might not suffer the fire of hell but out of your mercy be saved and brought back to you and as we pray this we pray in a special way for the families of these bereaved as well those that have lost their dear ones the ones that have passed on from this life but also the families of those that can see their loved ones as being lost lost into a life of sin and are standing helplessly helplessly looking at them as they continue to slip away We ask for your guidance, Father, on each of these families. We ask for your love in each of these families, as we raise each of these lost ones to you. Father, we connect with you in spirit, as we pray in the gift that you have given us, the Holy Spirit, the gift of tongues. And as we pray this, we ask for your revelation to be poured out, your mercy to be poured out on each of these families. that they might know your love that they might see your face in every lost soul might have a change of heart and turn back to you let us now pray in spirit thank you jesus we praise you jesus praise you jesus thank you hallelujah Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Lord, we lay our hands in spirit on all these your lost sheep. And in your name, we decree and declare them free from the clutches of Satan. We decree and declare that they are a new creation in Christ Jesus created for good works. And we release them, Lord, by the mercies of the God of heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. I confirm this, um, these words of Brother Russell, because during this time of silence, I saw a dense forest, a lot of trees, a lot of trees, and I saw plants which were trying to bloom, but they weren't blooming yes, yet. The flowers weren't blooming yet. And then suddenly when I shut my eyes again, I could see peach colored roses and white colored roses blooming. That is a confirmation of what Brother Russell spoke of a new creation in Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I got this morning, Matthew 22, from 1. Jesus again in reply spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king 
who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent other servants saying, tell those invited, behold, I have prepared my banquet, my calves and fattened cattle are killed and everything is ready, come to the feast. And then he said, many are invited, but few are chosen. And this morning I felt an enormous outpouring of the Holy Spirit as we were praying in tongues. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Today, even as we were praying, I sense the Lord show me a vision which was very much connected. It was a connection of visions. The first one I seen was a replanting of onion bulbs where there was growth of spring onions coming out. And uh, where I sensed are those believers who have backslided in their faith. But the Lord is once again replanting them and asking them to come back with a repentance of heart where they are blooming once again. And I seen uh, two wires which were cut, were joined again, which I sense the Lord trying to tell each one of us to come back and to unite ourselves with other brethren who are in Christ, who are believers and who worship God every day in spirit and truth to be reconnected with them so that we may also grow together as one body of Christ. And the word of God that was given to me was impressed in my heart was Job 5.17. Blessed is the one whom God corrects. So do not despise the discipline of the Almighty. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The scripture for today is Luke 18, verses 22 to 27. When Jesus heard this, he said to them, There is still one more thing you need to do. Sell all you have and give the money to the poor, and you will have riches in heaven. Then come and follow me. But when the man heard this, he became very sad because he was very rich. Jesus saw that he was sad and said, How hard it is for rich people to enter the kingdom of God. It is much harder for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God than for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. The people who heard him asked, who then can be saved? Jesus answered, What is humanly impossible is possible for God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for pouring out your spirit onto this group that prays here. Not only for themselves, but for each of your lost sheep. We thank you, Father, for your blessing on each one. For your grace. 
that keeps us going, keeps us standing in the gap, praying that these, our brothers and our sisters, might not perish, but might be saved. We thank you, Father, for giving us your revelation through your words of wisdom, through the words in your Bible that you have shown us and pointed us, Father. Grant us also the understanding of what you would want to tell us through this, of your message, so that we are able to implement it in our lives. We thank you, Father, that as your spirit is being poured out every void situation around us, in the lives of many that are suffering this day, is given shape, is being recreated anew, just as your spirit hovered over the earth in Genesis 1, when it was void and without form. And it is through your spoken word that he took and gave creation its shape and its form. Father, we ask, as we speak your word today, we ask that your spirit power over each of these once again, each of these people that we now pray for. We thank you, Jesus, for guiding us in this prayer. We thank you, Lord, oh Holy Spirit, for praying with us, for teaching us what to pray for when we know not what to pray, for leading us in the Spirit to connect with the Father. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer for being with us this morning. Help us be doers and carriers of your word, Father. That we carry this very same word, the word that is becoming flesh in us each day as your revelation is uncovered and made known to us. Help us share that very same word and understanding with our brothers and sisters that do not know you, especially the ones that are lost, especially the ones that are suffering this day and have no answer to their challenges. That we might not only be carriers of your word, we might be a reflection of your son, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. And let the mercy and the grace and peace and favor of our Lord Jesus Christ be multiplied in each of our lives this day. And as we are blessed, let us be a blessing to everyone around us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day, each one. Be blessed and stay blessed. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Russell. Thank you, Russell. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone.